thing. Yes. Yep. Okay. This just finally remember to start the recording here. So anyway, that was my oil story for the week is correct. X is a blessing to calm the nose down with allergies. And uh, it's such a blessing. Does anyone else have uh, something that they've enjoyed using this week or something that has helped them in the last little while that they'd love to share with us? I um, had a stress test for my heart this on Monday. Wow. And I was so scared. <laughs> it was the nuclear one. And I was so scared about what they were going to be shooting into me. Adaptive was just a miracle worker for me. I took an adaptive um, capsule before I went and I had the roll on with me. I used it after. And it turns out the worst thing was the IV, which is not unusual for me. <laughs> so as soon as I went to the waiting room, I rolled on the adaptive and it was just amazing how much calmer I was, oh, how, so how it helped. So. Bear Did that you in mind if you've got a stressful situation coming up that use it works really well. I love it. I love it. And was it Patty that had something too? Somebody else started talking. Yeah, I was going to talk about adaptive and serenity. Um, the adaptive soft gel in the morning and serenity at night to help my older son who just flew in from uh, Europe. As you could tell by the condition of the bed back there, this is the guest room. <laughs> Um, adaptive in the morning and serenity at night to help with uh, jet lag. And it really helped him. Um, it, it, jet lag coming to the U.S. is much worse than jet lag going to Europe. And so he's, uh, I think he's, the first night he was here, he was up until 2 or 3 a.m. And now he's, he's coming down to, well, he's been here for a week and I think he's off the jet lag. Um, but we're going to keep yeah. up the serenity and the adaptive to keep him kind of even, even keel. A little bit. So, so this first week that he's been back, um, we put him on just morning only regimen for LLV and probiotics uh, with the adaptive. And then now he's been here for a week. So we're ramping him up into the twice a day LLV uh, dosage with the serenity at night probiotics and adaptive in the morning. So how long do you get him home, Patty? He's here until August 28th. Okay, so you have two, two and a half months of helping him get back on track. And then hopefully, he'll see the difference and be able to say, yes, I want to stay on this, right? Yes, yes that's right. And so I'm, I'm following, um, I wasn't able to get him in with Dr. D like I wanted to earlier uh, this spring. He's, in, he's, uh, he's resistant to medication, which is, which is right up my alley, because I can't give him any medicine. So that's okay. <laughs> so we're going to continue with the nutritional support and the sleep hygiene support, uh, mood balancing, adaptive, and see, you know, see how, how successful everything is with him. For two and a half months is a long time to clean and reset. And I think that that's going to be what he needs. So I love it. lots of good food, lots of good loving, lots of smart supplementation. So keep up that good work with Jack. Okay. Anybody else have something they want to share? Oh, Jolene. Well, just, um, I've been working with emotions this past week, kind of processing and learning a little bit. And um, so my one that I'm loving uh, the last few days and is my oil this week is green Mandarin um, for pure potential. Isn't that fun? So yes. all week, every day I've gotten out my wheel. Does everyone have one of these? Mm -hmm. If not, you yeah. should so get them. And so one side is feel less and the other is feel more. And I've done it with uh, one of my grandsons that's, be, that's here that has responded to it. And it just has been very, very empowering. And um, as with all the oils, always amazed at how each one works for the things that we need at the time. I love it. You are so good at using the oils for the emotional reasons. So I'm here in New Mexico, having driven all day Monday to get here. And I kept a clipboard next to me while I was driving and I would write things, but I'd, I'd always do that. I'd look in front of me, nobody behind me, nobody beside me, nobody behind me. And I have a way of pushing a button on my car that keeps you between the white lines, you know, that new newfangled button. So I have three and a half pages 
of people I've helped, what the helmet was that I helped them with, and then what I use, the protocol. And I just kept thinking of people that I've helped over the eight years I've done doTERRA. I'm not done yet. My list isn't done yet. But that many people, and what I've realized after I had the list almost done, I thought of you, Jolene, because I realized I don't help a lot of people with emotional reasons. I've got a few people I've helped with depression using balance and serenity. I've got a bipolar friend that I've helped. Um, I've got a few that have been more, to me, more maybe emotional, but only a handful out of my whole list. Most of it is physical reasons. And I need to be better at helping with emotions. So it's interesting to have made this list and realized that's that's an area of growth for me that I need. All right, we better turn time over to Lee because she, I'm sure, has prepared wonderful information for us. So Lee has been so busy working and is focusing on her life and she lives in an RV and she works for many people and does their book. She is multi talented. She has two grown kids and three beautiful grandsons. She's got a, a beautiful dog, Bella, who is her constant love and in her life. And she has been missing from our doTERRA world for a little while. So very thankful to have Lee back, back today. Lee, you just don't know how much you're missed. You have been mentioned so many times Aww. while you have been away. Please know how much you're loved and how much we appreciate you coming back to teach periodically for us. And she loves doTERRA and you are going to hear it. And she is hopefully going to share some ways that it can help us support ourselves as women. But I know she has been supported and she'll have some great information for us. Lee, take it away. Okay. Can I share my screen? Yep. Okay. So we're here to talk about women's health naturally today. Um, I decided to focus on women's health and only on three things you'll see here in just a little bit. It'll be great. Um, according to The Essential Life, which I hope we all have on page 436, it, sh it says that, and I'm going to say we because I see we don't have any men in the group today. Yeah. So we face health challenges that are specific to our gender. And that's because of our re reproductive system, our brains, our hearts, our skeleton. And of course we have hormonal issues that are particular to being women. Um, many of us suffer from high cortisol levels, which can lead to fatigue, weight changes, depression, anxiety, and digestion problems. And at all stages of life, um, we, do, we try to do our best to maintain homeostasis but we're always multitasking. Women are always multitasking. Always. Physical and emotional <laughs> stress. Listen to that, Shalene. Emotional stress can be a cause and symptom of many women's issues. Nutrition and hydration are important keys to a women's health. Now we all know we're having in Texas this incredible heat dome over top of us right now. And I am going through the water like crazy. So I hope you're drinking lots of water too. Daily supplements that include a whole food nutrient supplement, essential fatty acids, a bone supplement complex and phytoestrogen if you prefer to take that will help your body to be able to regulate your hormones properly. doTERRA's mood enhancing essential oils such as Elevation, Serenity, Citrus Bliss and Balance, and we've already heard mention of a couple of these, can help with depression and other emotions that can be prevalent in women. Okay, so per the CDC, these are the top health concerns for women. Heart disease, breast cancer, and stress, anxiety, and depression. So we're going to start with heart disease. It's the number one cause of death for women in America, African American and white women. It's second for Latinas and Asian or Pacific Islander women, only to, and that's only to cancer as a cause of death. And there are some risk factors, which are probably most of us are familiar with, high blood pressure, high LDL cholesterol. If you don't know the difference between HDL and LDL cholesterol, there's a good and a bad. The HDL is good, the LDL is bad. 
It's low density. Um, I think, Patty, you can correct me if I'm wrong. That means it has a harder time going through our arteries and is easier to stick in there and clog them up. Um, another major- the, the LDL is low density and that is what we do not want. The right. low density is sticky. And so it right. sticks together and it sticks to the walls of our vessels creating plaques. And right. um, the high density cholesterol is what we want high, I believe. Moves so. right through, it moves through, which the LDL That's does right. not. It, the yeah. LDL does, the low density cholesterol does not uh, move through easily. That's that's all I know. Okay. So another, some other risk factors are smoking. And if you do smoke, I advise you to quit as quickly as you can. Um, not as quickly as you can right now, I would say. And then of course, some other, one, some other risk factors are diabetes, obesity, having an unhealthy diet, physical inactivity, and drinking too much alcohol. So we can manage these risks. We can make healthy food choices. We can exercise regularly. And that doesn't mean you have to go to the gym or you have to go for a run or you have to ride a bike. Just move every day. Get some regular movement into your life. Manage your stress. Um, as Patty was saying, with adaptive and um, serenity and balance. Some of those oils are really helpful for us in managing our stress. Know your blood pressure. Blood pressure cuffs are very inexpensive. Got a little wristbound one right here. Um, get them on Amazon. If you don't have a problem with your blood pressure, you can probably check it once a week. I check mine every day. If wow. you do smoke, quit right now and limit your alcohol use. And you might want to talk to your medical professional about being tested for diabetes and checking your blood cholesterol and triglyceride levels. The last one, the blood cholesterol and triglyceride levels are just a blood test. Um, diabetes is also, you can get your A1C checked just by a finger prick now. So if you suspect that there's something going on, please talk to your medical professional and get those things taken care of. So let's see, look at some natural solutions. And I do want you to know before I start, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. And doTERRA would say the same thing because that's where I got it. <laughs> okay, first thing I'm gonna talk about Take your lifelong vitality. Three bottles in that pack. It's the foundation of good health. You can get it in a vegan blend if, if, you are, if you're a vegetarian and you don't want to get any of the meat or any of the eggs or any of those things in your body that you're averse to. Um, the first one is the Mitra, Microplex VMZ, which is the multivitamin and mineral. It's a whole food blend to give us support for our for healthy immune function, healthy digestion, and a healthy metabolism. It supports our bone health. It provides A, C, E, and B vitamins. And it includes a green blend. It's made from kale, dandelion greens, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cabbage, things that are really good for us. And that's where a lot of these good vitamins and minerals come from. It contains a lot of trace minerals, including cal including calcium, magnesium, zinc, things that we need to stay healthy, especially as women. Um, the CRS is the brain blend. It's the cellular formulation, which helps our cells to have healthy function and metabolism, helps our, our minds to stay clear. It includes a tummy table blend so that when you do take these and you take two of each of them twice a day. If you, when you take the CRS and get that tummy tamer <laughs> blend, it helps you to not have an upset stomach from any of these other um, things that are found in the, in the supplements. It supports our brain function. And then we have the Z-omegas, which are our healthy omega fatty acids. 
It's great for supporting the healthy function of the brain, the eyes, the nervous system, our joints. It promotes alertness. It helps us to maintain healthy skin, hair, and nails. It's great. It supports your muscles so that when you get fatigued, say from exercising, or even I'm going to physical therapy right now, it helps overcome those sore and tired muscles. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, so maybe you wanna take a picture of this slide. This is a circulation massage blend and I love this blend. Oh, and I meant to have my little bottle of, I didn't bring it over here, but doTERRA um, packages fractionated coconut oil in a little squeeze bottle. And I like to use that for this blend. I pop that top off out of there and you just add five drops each of eucalyptus, rosemary, cypress, black pepper, and ginger, and then add fractionated coconut oil or your favorite carrier oil, whatever it is that you happen to like. Then I can shake it up in that, put that top back on, shake it up, and then you can squeeze it onto your hands and massage it. You massage it into your arms, your legs, and your chest every day. And if you do have a problem with circulation, particularly with lymph, I would suggest that you make sure that you're massaging towards the lymph glands. So in your arms, you wanna go towards your armpits In your legs, you wanna go towards the lymph hmm. um, High blood pressure reliever. I use this one every day as well. It's in, this one's in a 10 mil roller bottle. It's 12 drops each of helichrysum and ylang ylang and eight drops each of cinnamon bark, frankincense, and marjoram. Fill the remainder with fractionated coconut oil. Apply it to the bottoms of your feet, along your breastbone, so across here, and over your heart and your carotid arteries, or on the back of the neck. And I do this twice a day. You can do it more than that if you'd like. Do it in the morning and the evening for me. All right, we're gonna move on. If you have questions, please ask me. Please stop me and ask me. We're going to talk about breast cancer. Um, big health challenge for us women. If we haven't had it, we know someone who has. Um, it's just something that we're always concerned with. Other than skin cancer, it's the most common cancer among women in the U.S. The top risk factor is being a woman. Men can get breast cancer, but being a woman, a woman makes it much more, it's a, a much higher risk. Being over 50, um, changes in your BRCA genes, which that's a susceptibility gene. You can look it up. It's what they test for when they do DNA testing to see if you're if you have a gene that makes you more susceptible to breast cancer. That's what they're looking for. What happens is this gene is supposed to suppress tumor growth, but if it mutates then it's unable to do that. So if you have the, if you have changes in that, then you're more likely to get breast, ovarian, and pancreatic cancers. Uh, risks again. How can we how can we manage some of these things and help us to be a little healthier and less likely to get breast breast cancer? Maintain a healthy weight. Eat a healthy diet. Even if you can't keep your weight down, eat a healthy diet. Eat what's good for you. Eat your vegetables. Get your protein from good sources. Don't drink your calories. Make sure that you're using your you're eating um, nutrition dense calories. Exercise regularly. Again, just move. Just move every day. Um, I stretch and do yoga. I walk my dog. I don't go very far anymore when I walk my dog. I used to go a lot further, um, but I find that the stretching and the yoga really helped me to be able to do that. Choose to not drink alcohol, or if you do drink alcohol, do it in moderation. If you take HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy, or birth control pills, ask your medical practitioner about the risks of doing so. Um, there's a big two schools of thought. Some people think the hormone replacement therapy is absolutely necessary for women going through menopause. Some 
do not. I took it for years because I had a hysterectomy when I was 32. Um, <laughs> they, and then I had a doctor who said, nope, we're taking you off right now because it's too big a risk for breast cancer. And then I was off of it and I got breast cancer anyway. Now, where, whether it added to my risk, I don't know. But ask your medical practitioner if you're on either one of those. And if you're of childbearing age, breastfeed if possible. If you're not of childbearing age, if you have somebody around you who you love who is, please encourage them to breastfeed if at all possible. It's a big, big help in preventing or lessening the severity of breast cancer. So now here again are some natural solutions for helping us to avoid or if we do get breast cancer to have some other tools in our tool belt besides the things that Western medicine is gonna offer us. Again, take your lifelong vitality. You're gonna get sick of hearing me say this. Take it every day. If you haven't started taking it, start taking it. Take two of each of these a day, twice a day, one in the morning, three in the morning and three in the afternoon. If you've been taking it, please do take the recommended dose of four of the capsules or soft gels every day. I can't, I just can't even, I can't emphasize enough the importance of these. I can't tell you how much help they've given me in all of my health journey. Just been the greatest thing that I've ever found. Um, nutrition. We talked about that. doTERRA has just a magnificent nutrition line, nutrition line with protein powder, greens powder, and fiber. Um, you don't have to have a smoothie for breakfast. You can have a smoothie any time of the day. I like to have a smoothie about three o'clock in the afternoon. I call it my lunner. Um, <laughs> and I make it with um, almond milk a scoop of the protein powder, which has 21 grams of protein in it, by the way. I uh, try to use greens, fresh greens that I try to keep on hand. If I'm out of fresh greens, then I will use the greens powder. Um, uh, frozen banana, some frozen berries, organic berry blend is what I choose to use. And sometimes some chia seeds, maybe a little almond um, butter in there just for a little added boost and just whirl that all up in the in the blender and drink it down. And it's a great way to get good nutrition. But please, please focus on your nutrition. That's that's what those supplements are all about, is making sure that we're getting everything that we need to to get out of our food and some extra because a lot of the things that we used to get in our food we don't get anymore. Um, this is a great detox procedure. It's a protocol that you can do at least twice a year. Apply four drops of frankincense to your breasts each day for 30 days. Take DDR prime soft gels twice daily for 30 days. I take DDR prime every day and have for a long, long time now. Uh, dilute two drops each eucalyptus, grapefruit, Siberian for and or pink pepper. If you happen to know that you've got an area in your breast that needs to be addressed, maybe a small lump or just some cysts or some fibrous tissue in there, you can take those diluted drops and just apply them directly to that targeted area. And then in a capsule, take two drops of grapefruit and pink pepper two to three times daily. And if you do this a couple of times a year, I like to do it in January and in July, um, starts my year off well. And I think that's a good time for most of us. We can just cleanse and detox our bodies gently with uh, doTERRA products and it gets us on a, off on a good foot for the rest of the year. Okay. Shaleen's thing that she doesn't, says she doesn't help anybody with, but I bet she is helping them even though she doesn't know she is. Depression and anxiety. Depression is a real medical condition. It's a common but serious mood disorder. It can interfere with your ability to work, sleep, study, eat, and enjoy life. 
um, research suggests that it's caused by combination of biological, environmental, and psychological factors. So it's not just in your brain. You can't just snap out of it. And it's not a character flaw. Um, and anxiety disorders are real serious medical conditions. Women are nearly twice as likely as men to be diagnosed with anxiety or depression, which is likely because we have certain biological, hormonal, and social factors unique to us. Um, I listened, I was on a webinar not too long ago, a couple of years ago, actually, with Justin Harrison, and he had a lady on there who was talking about depression and anxiety, and she said, if you have one, you have the other. They go hand in hand. I'd also like to point out real quickly, one of the reasons why women are diagnosed more often in men is that we look for help. Yes. Way more often than men. So it's not just a woman thing. It is a right. human thing. We just recognize that there's a problem and that there's help for it. So uh, let's not ignore our men folk. Absolutely ladies. not. This is, <laughs> this is a human thing. Thank and you. they have, men have stressors that we can't even understand. That's know, correct. I, That's right. I, That's right. I talked to my son a lot about that. His you know, his main stressor is taking care of his family, providing yeah. for his family. And that's huge. I mean, that's to me, it's, it's that's just huge. I worked outside of the home. Rich and I both worked together, um, not together, but we each worked outside of the home. And there was pressure on me to support my family because I felt I wanted to be prepared if something happened to Rich that I could take care of the kids myself. But I can't imagine the pressure that is on mm -hmm. a man with that. And that's a big societal thing, too. So, it is. Agreed. Um, these are some symptoms of depression. And I want to point out that one of the ones that we can all have some of these at any time, if you have a great number of them or several of them, then you need to pay, start paying attention. One of them in particular has stood out to me in the past, and that is loss of interest or pleasure in hobbies or activities. If you love sharing doTERRA and suddenly, and not suddenly, but you begin to feel like, I don't even wanna do this anymore. I don't wanna even talk to people anymore. Then you need to start paying attention to what's going on with you emotionally. Um, and many of these, when I talk about the anxiety symptoms, they're gonna cross over. Persistent, sad, anxious or empty mood feelings of hopelessness or pessimism. And please, ladies, again, not only your men, your children, your grandchildren, please pay attention to them and how they're feeling and help them to express their feelings. You might be irritable. We're all irritable sometimes. You can have decreased energy or fatigue, difficulty sleeping, waking up early in the morning or oversleeping. Mine is oversleeping. When I'm down, I just want to sleep. I don't want to do anything else. I want to sleep. Difficulty concentrating, remembering, or making decisions. Changes in appetite or weight. And this one, the aches or pains, headaches, cramps, or digestive problems without a clear physical cause and, don't, and that don't ease even with treatment. So if you use past tense or peppermint for a headache and that generally makes it go away and you find that you've got a headache that you can't get rid of with past, past tense or peppermint, pay attention to that. If you've got an upset stomach that usually you can fix with digest zen and that's not working, pay attention. Something else may be going on. Anxiety symptoms again, feeling nervous, irritable or on edge. Having a sense of impending danger, panic, or doom. Having an increased heart rate. Breathing rapidly. Sweating and or trembling. I have panic attacks occasionally. And this is one of the reasons I've gone for, a, for the heart test, for the stress test, is because you're trying to definitely rule out that it's not my heart and that it is anxiety. Because I'll come back and have had, not really have had anything bad go on but just have started panicking and I'm breathing rapidly and my heart's beating really fast and I'm feeling weak or tired. So we're just trying to rule out the heart in that. Again, difficulty concentrating, having trouble sleeping, 
and experiencing gastrointestinal problems. Um, here's some five tips for stressed out women. Do not soothe yourself with food, ladies. <laughs> Do not soothe yourself with food. Instead, put some oil in your hands and massage your neck and your shoulders, your lower back. Take a tennis ball, put it under your foot and roll your foot over it or put it behind your back and roll up and down against it against a wall. Sit down, relax, breathe, meditate. Take a walk, sip some tea. Maybe not some hot tea right now. Um, Lee, I feel like you're talking straight to me about this. Soothe yourself with food. I yep. have such a bad habit of reaching for that sweet, crunchy, salty, whatever mm -hmm. snack I've um, told myself is for the boys in the pantry. <laughs> yep. Yep. Mine is, mine is comfort food. I want macaroni and cheese or, you know, just, just those things that good homemade home cooked meals, those things really soothe me. And you can do that, but make sure it's a healthy something instead of reaching. Generally our comfort foods are not healthy. So try not to soothe yourself with food, but do it in some other healthier way. Keep work at home and work at work and home at home. Now, if you work outside of the office, you may find yourself commiserating with somebody you work with, with a coworker. Set, set boundaries on that. You take care of yourself. Take care of your own stress. Don't try to fix other people's stress. You can offer them some oils. That's great. Offer them some adaptive. I'm going to show you a couple of, of blends here in a second. Offer them some of that. But be aware that you are take care of yourself first. Delegate tasks at home. Don't try to do everything yourself. Your kids can help. No matter how old they are, they can help. And of course, your husband can help too. Um, be present for your family. I, this one is particularly close to my heart. Um, put your phone down. Look your, look your family members in the eye. Talk to them. When you're having a family meal, make sure everyone puts their electronics down and we all, you all pay attention to each other. And I know it's hard in this day and age to have family meals, but I did it. And I just told you, Rich and I both worked outside of the home. My kids were in orchestra and band and choir and sports. And I still managed with the help of my trusty slow cooker, my crock pot, which we didn't really use, have instant pots back then, but my crock pot and my microwave were my best friends and we managed to have family meals and then get out the door to everything that was going on. So it can be done. Um, and I think it's really important for our mental health, for all of us in our family. And take care of you too. You can make self-care routines that go right along with brushing your teeth in the evening or taking your supplements in the morning. Um, and give yourself permission to take a day off. Take time off to recharge your batteries. It's okay. Go to your room, relax, get away from it all. Take a bath. So here I'm gonna go into again, a couple of natural solutions. Guess what, ladies, same thing. Take your lifelong vitality. It's good for your mental health too. And here's an anxiety blend. This is one of those things that you can offer to a coworker or a friend. Um, and Jolene, thank you for mentioning, mentioning Green Mandarin. And this is a big blend. I might not use all 10 drops and 20 drops of adaptive for this, but it's Green Mandarin Citrus Bliss Tulsi, which is excellent for helping control that cortisol that we talked about earlier, Serenity and Adaptive. And I would not put it in a five mil unless you're cutting it way back. I would put it in a 10 mil roller bottle and fill the remainder with fractionated coconut oil. And then you just apply it to your pulse point and back here behind the ears along the bone, not on your the earlobe, but on the bone. It's gonna be the same with the depression blend, which again, lots of drops, lemon, ylang, ylang, lavender, peppermint and wild orange, which just put a drop of each of those in your hands and breathe it in, cup your hands and breathe it in and you'll feel better just by doing that. And patchouli, 
Again, put it in a 10 mil roller bottle, fill it with fractionated coconut oil, same places, pulse points behind the ears. Here are some calming diffuser blends. My favorite in this page is the morning meditation, which is two drops of bergamot, wild orange, and a drop of elevation. I know we don't sell elevation anymore, but I still have some and I treasure it because it's one of my favorite blends. And we know as essential oil users that they're magnificent for calming and uplifting. So you can pick, to, pick a blend here or just a few, some adaptive, some serenity, citrus bliss, elevation or balance, and you will feel, you can feel so much better. And that's it, ladies. Thank you for listening. And please don't forget your nutrition and to move. Oh, Lee, that was so wonderful. I miss you more than ever now that we've gotten to listen to you for a half hour. Just so much great information. And as you give your information, it comes across from someone who uses the oils and gets supported by the oils yourself. And thank you so much for sharing so many wonderful ideas. Um, those last few recipes had a lot of oils in them. I would suggest that people you know, maybe even start off with a, not quite as many drops. Yes, yes that's what I said. Drops. This is a lot of drops. Yes. Um, <laughs> 20 but, drops, uh, 10 drops. Yeah, I usually put 20 drops total and fill something with fractionated coconut oil. Right. So if you add that many drops, you're getting a very potent um, uh, solution. So just keep that in mind. Thank you course, so much. Lee. Any of them that would have a, have a citrus oil in them, you want to make sure that you're careful in in the with sun. your sun exposure. So. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Next uh, week, we have Clevelyn teaching us about a respiratory system, and we will hope to have her on for uh, have you all on next week. Sorry, the grandkids show ended, so my life just got a little <laughs> bit noisier. <laughs> um, I don't know how I did it back then with all these kids going a little bit nutty, but that's okay. Um, what, a, what a blessing to have you all on. Thank you for getting on, and I hope you can be enjoying this summer. I am in nice New Mexico, the highs of 85s. Just thought I'd re mention that. Oh, <laughs> a lovely <Christine>. it <laughs> It's like Christine. Oh, that's really yeah. mean of you. We're like 20 degrees yeah. higher than that. Four days I know, and I just, week. I went to the park and it was just like so lovely outside. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, this was this yeah. was heavenly up here. They live in the mountains in New Mexico. Oh, so wow. beautiful oh, area. So I, I started back to school and our school doesn't have air conditioning. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh no, Rhonda! I cannot even imagine. You should see the babies. I know they were all like we. I had a portable. I have a portable air conditioner that I we used in our travel trailer, and we brought it yesterday. But even still, it was my poor little rosy cheek. Oh, yesterday was horrible. It was horrible. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You got to get that fixed. Oh my gosh! I love you all so much. Yeah. Oh. Be careful. Okay. Love you all. Thanks for being on and stay on. If you want to join in for just a minute on some uh, ways you can share the oils, please remember that I'm doing silver club. So if you do have somebody that's interested, this month's a great time. I can get them a free oil as they get Chalene, started. So, Chalene, yeah. put your silver club code in. I'm not, I'm not allowed to Patty. They, oh. They're really strict this time. They're super, super strict. Okay. And I'm allowed to give it out as I talk to somebody. So okay. I'm trying to follow the rules. Yep. Okay. Good girl. It's It'll been great. You all. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Miss we you, love you. Lee. We'll have you back. Don't again. be a stranger. I'll yeah. try not to be. Love y'all. Bye. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Thanks for staying on. Hey, we are. Uh, I am was telling Lee. Uh, Leanne, I was not able to stay on. I was going to make somebody else in charge for the business meeting. Oh, let me remember to pause here on our recording. Um. So 